I don't think you should go through there. <gasps> Bar, I think this might be a bad idea. Oh my God. I think I see something. Uncle Bart, friend Bart, is still here in town, and I have been wanting to do something for quite some time. And she hasn't told me what it is. I was hanging out at Chuck Cassidy's shop working on my van, and while I was there, she was like, hey, Bart, calling me on the phone. I got a package that's gonna go to you. Can you please bring it to me? But I can't tell you what it is. <laughs> so the package comes in, and it says, metal detective. <laughs> So I'm thinking we're going treasure hunting. We need this as a tool, and it's because I've been afraid to do something by myself. So I like needed you to be here with me. <laughs> I need to rub She's someone into fearless, it. fearless, okay? You're gonna have to follow me. Okay. The house is about 130 years old. Mm -hmm. This town that I'm in has a lot of history because obviously it's so old. It's a very nice town, very it's, cool. I found something that I need you to help me with. Okay. Okay, come on, come with me. Could you help me scoop my mattress this way? <laughs> I'm putting Bart to work here. <laughs> or I'll help you. Okay, perfect, okay. that's good. Now come on over here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look what I- have I... no idea where this is going. Is that like a hidden, what? Yes. The master bedroom is the only bedroom with the original floors on it. And I moved the mattress that was originally here and discovered that there were loose floorboards. <laughs> and I've been too afraid to go into the secret passage alone. <laughs> Wait, can I fit in here? Is this, a, am I about You're to crawl? You're gonna have to. I'm about to crawl into a, this is how horror movies start, folks. So we're gonna have to explore this together. And I, I got the metal detector because I was like, maybe there's treasure or something down there. Piece by piece. I've briefly oh gone down there, but I haven't fully explored. Oh, there's a ladder. There is a ladder <laughs> that is. This is like when something just comes out and grabs you. Look at this. <laughs> this is in her bedroom underneath her bed. I've been sleeping on this. Like. I can imagine you sleeping and hearing like <laughs> scratch. Noises. Well, people have asked me if the house is haunted, okay. and um, Let me get my we might be light. figuring this out. So, does your basement have access to no. this? So, this is a whole different area. Alyssa, I don't know if I should blame you for my death, <laughs> but this might be my last video. Plug these into this. See if we can get this down there. Some of my camera lighting, some camera aperture lighting, lighting some loom cubes. We want all light possible. Yeah. I don't want anything reaching out of anywhere grabbing me. So we have this to walk around with. That's good. If you were going to hide treasure, you would hide it in the secret passageway in the floorboards. So. Is that a shovel? Well, we might have to dig. Have you ever read one of these before? No, I've never messed with the metal detector. Me neither. Imagine if this could, could detect human bones. You think we're going to find something dead down there? We could. I we might yep. find a few animal bones. <laughs> the family pet. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> then all the power goes out all at once, all of our light. I'm <gasps> still daytime. <laughs> Maybe I'll just become a famous treasure hunter. Maybe that's my next calling. You are a foot taller than me, huh? I am mean, Peter Pan, and you are Tinkerbell. I guess I have the attitude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you definitely have the, the attitude. We need the big boy to protect us. Yes. Come here. Come here, hey, Bree, hey, Koji. All right. <laughs> Scared me. You can count on me, Bart. I don't know. Not a flashlight. I think we're ready. We ready? We're ready. Okay. <laughs> In case we don't make it out alive, I gotta thank Nebula for sponsoring today's video. Look how cool that is. That's a transformer. If 
Bart and I make it out alive. We will be rewarding ourselves with the most epic movie night using one of Nebula's new laser projectors. So stick around for that because Nebula is giving you guys the best discount of the year. Or if you don't care to see if Bart and I survive, you can just click the link below now if you want to. <laughs> but fingers crossed we do. I'm bringing my taser, guys. Because <laughs> you can tase ghosts, I think. Right. If you're bringing a taser, do not stand next to me because if you freak out, <laughs> I don't want to be the one who gets tased. So Bart's going to go down first. These are my last moments. Okay. And then I'll hand you the power station. Careful. That ladder is 130 years old. So. She says careful as she hits the taser in my direction. <laughs> How, how does the- Something's got me. Stop it! Jim <laughs> Bart! Oh Bart, I'm already pissed at you. <laughs> Don't drop. <laughs> Was that ladder sturdy? Bart, I'm pissed. Oh, 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 no. What? Oh, we're gonna, oh God. What? There's another tunnel down here. There's uh another tunnel down here. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Bart! Can't start handing me lights. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be trippy. When do you think the last time somebody down was down here? 130 something years ago. 130 years ago. <gasps> that tunnel, Bart? All right. Okay, you going in, Bart? I'm going in. Okay. Oh my gosh. Can you see in there? Yeah. Good enough slack. Oh, we definitely have animals down here. And that's the ladder we came down. This is clearly like the original part of the original crawl space to the house. And you can see that it did end here. This is the original hand laid stone foundation. You could tell that this hole right here was not done. <laughs> was, for the house. No, this was not original. So someone made another hole in the crawl space. And uh we'll see what's in here. Oh, what do we got of oh. Uh oh. Okay. That's what? Plastic. Okay, I that maybe it was a buried body. Oh my god. There's no body in the plastic bar? I don't know. It's like a big hill in front of me, and I can crawl over to the other side, but let me crawl over. I'm coming in. Oh, all right, hold up. Let's freeze. I got a phone. That is a terrible ringtone of choice in this I'm moment. Frankie and Alex. Tell <laughs> F and A. Oh my God! You called it the most opportune moment. <laughs> Me and Alyssa are in the middle of a video, and she oh. bought a metal detector, and she found a hidden hole in her floor that goes to a crawl space. <laughs> I'm literally under her house. Looking for dead bodies. <laughs> hey! <laughs> uh, we'll give you a call back when we, uh, if we make it out. But I want to kind of see if I can get to the other side. So I'm going to have to oh go God. this way. You're going to go body. that way? Near the body? What? I found 130 year old Werther's Originals. <laughs> oh. What? What? Is this a lucky die? <gasps> Like the old miners playing poker. This is a really old die because you can tell because the notches are put into the dice. They're not printed on. Old cigarette wrapper. Was someone just smoking candy. cigarettes and playing dice down here? And eating candy. I'm so glad we brought all these lights down here because it is pitch black. You get these numbers that show up on the screen. Uh-huh. Like, I wonder if that's like a percentage number. Oh. Like how close I am. Mm-hmm. Or how deep the object oh. is. Eight inches. 91 inches. We should have read more. You got that um, shovel? No. That means I got to go back? <laughs> Bart, we're splitting up for the first time. Oh, no. Okay. I'll be back. This is hard to film and treasure hunt and not die at the same time. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, I see animal droppings. No, you don't. Yes. Big animal droppings. No, you don't. Yes. Okay. Here's the shovel. Oh, my gosh. Do 
Do you think it was the raccoon we saw the other day? I don't know. Google what raccoon poop looks like. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try to explore this way. We're not poop kind of sewer. Really old stuff down here. Like really old bricks. Oh, oh my god. This is scary. Oh, there's a good piece of wood. I know, Mark. Whoa. Look how thick that is. That is crazy. gold we're looking for treasure imagine if we found gold or if we found old jewelry like an old little treasure box what is that in the great unknown Bart, i think i found something there's like old fossilized tree bark pretty much. <laughs> I am an old miner. <laughs> My last tool of defense. Okay, I'm right here for you, Bart, if you need me. Oh, I'm stuck. No, you're not. My jacket's caught. Oh no! <laughs> Okay. okay. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. I would never leave you, Bart. Oh my God. Whew. This is crazy. What do you bet one of these stones in the wall is loose and you pull it back and there's treasure? This has got to be some type of escape hatch for yeah. someone because you got the hole in the floor, right. the ladder, this, and the entrance out. Was it just an escape hatch or were they trying to hide something and their way right. to hide it was through the floreboard right. and if ever they needed to get out of the house on a quick, they want to take whatever yeah. they're hiding with them. So you could come down the hatch, grab your stash, grab your stash go, go through the foundation wall and then out the other way. Bart, the year is 1896. People are finding riches all over Colorado. This house was built at the peak of that time. If you found riches somewhere in the mountains of Colorado and you were to hide it down here in your secret passage, where would you put it? If I apply my own mind, which is always about efficiency. Put it there. Yeah. Because then you could, you could grab it quick and then run. Go see if there's a loose brick or a loose stone, Bart. Let's check it out. Here, I'm going to grab the shovel. You look over there. I'm going to look over here. There are some pretty deep holes. Find anything? Some of these stones are just absolutely beautiful. Whoa! What the heck is that? There's some weird stuff over here, Bart. Oh, oh. What? Oh, no. What? I found something. Is it a dead mouse? Yes. Ugh. <sighs> Ew, Bart, let him be. Don't disturb the dead. Bart, I'm nervous to flip over these big rocks now. Oh, jeez. Why did we split up? We should both be on the same side. If, it, if it's something of value, I think it would be over here. Oh, what is this? What? Oh. What? There's a little nice little... Whoa. What the heck is that? It's like a piece of decorative yeah. top of a lamp. Old school lamp. Whoa, very cool, Bart. Here, Bart, you're stronger than me. Come over where I am. Look at this. What the heck is that? <gasps> yeah, move that. <gasps> I know, there's some really crazy looking rocks and stuff. Some weird stuff down here, Bart. There's clearly some really, really old pieces of wood that were once something. Something like this, you gotta be very careful <coughs> what you're digging. Come down here with a good mask. Mm-hmm. Digging. Yeah. 
Is this like an old top? Oh my god, it is! Whoa. Some nice cool things. I'm wondering if any of this is like petrified. The heck could this be? Part of another tool okay. or a toy. Like that's making me think of the old metal axle and wheels for like a car set. Oh, with those old metal yeah. tin trains and cars. Is there just a whole bunch of little toys down here? That's strange. Mr. C, the man who built this house, died in an accident like only a week or two before he was supposed to move in here with his wife and two children. Oh, man. And what if these are the toys of his two children? The wife got special permission. Mrs. C got special permission to move into this house oh, with her kids okay, okay. from a judge. Because that, together. yeah. So she still moved in with the two boys. Was she a nice woman? She was a very nice woman. All right, I think it's time we go back up for air because we've been kicking up some dust. I am filthy. And I'm completely alone in the dark. Okay, I've got eyes on you, Bart. Don't you worry. <laughs> Koji's getting all jacked up. What's he doing? <laughs> Rio. That goes here. It was very exciting. We found some really cool things down there. Let's yeah. show everybody the little treasures that we found when we were down there. We weren't down there for super long. I'd say about maybe 20 minutes. Maybe we found really. some really cool things down there. Full detector. We should have... <laughs> The numbers are correspondence to, to different types of metals. Mm -hmm. And I saw, if I was reading the manual correctly, there is potential gold and silver down there. Mm -hmm. So Who knows? And it could just be minerals in the earth, so. but you never know. There could be little treasures down there. So I think we're gonna have to go down there when we have masks. But like we did find time. some treasures. We did. The lucky dice. Maybe a lot of the old miners. The Wild West times of them just, you know, playing dice. Somebody could have cut shot over a game with that very die. Never know. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It almost feels like porcelain. It's clearly a piece to something. We also found these two things. That could be a little axle from a tin car. Yeah, that could toy. have been like maybe a train or a car. But it could be like a game for like jacks. Right. But the only reason I would say something different is because of how long it is. So I think that this might have been part of maybe a spool and this was okay. part of a mechanism and it spun it. If you guys know what any of this stuff is, please tell us in the comments. We found this little cover. Obviously this is some type of vent cover. It's really, really old. Bart found this. This looks like a head decorative piece to maybe a headboard. It's absolutely beautiful it's t completely wood it's very clearly handmade mm -hmm. this is a really beautiful rock that does look like an arrowhead um, there is a lot of native american activity specifically in this region it's known for that but that would be really special what i believe to be the crown jewel this, <gasps> this i think is an old wooden top it is Let's try it. So let's see. I don't know if it'll spin. Oh. Who do you think it was that last played with this top before us? Nice. It's crazy that we came up on all these little toys. We also found a very old level. And like this is solid metal. There's no plastic There's on this. There's some weight to it. Marks MFG Co. So I don't know what that company is. Viewers, that's on you. Go ahead, it give it a Google. Let me know how old this could possibly be. So this is our find in just 20 minutes. I think that's really cool. We found some really old wood down there too. Yeah. Maybe you make a shelf and you could display everything. <gasps> that would be really cool, like a little museum. And thank you, Bart, for going on that adventure with me. It was spooky. I was not brave enough to do it alone. <laughs> this is the first of many series. Mm-hmm, yeah. If you guys want more of the treasure hunting vibes, let me know. <laughs> I need to chop some firewood, so Bart's gonna help me chop some firewood, and then I think we have a fun moving thing. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So Bart is the Texas man. He's gonna do some Colorado mountain things right now. Yeah. Yes, Bart! Bart knows what he's doing. Bart's so badass, he cut the stump in half. It's 
now the best time of the evening. We're about to have movie night. We've got pizzas in the oven. We've got candies on deck. And we have two very exciting packages that came. Thank you, Anchor Nebula, for sponsoring this video. Nebula sent me two of their latest laser projectors, the Cosmos Laser 4K, which is perfect for a home theater, and the Capsule 3 laser projector, which is perfect for camping, travel, and anything outdoors. Let me emphasize the word laser. Anchor Nebula is the first to put laser technology into a portable projector. I feel very lucky to snatch up this Transformers edition. There's only 4,000 of these made. Laser projectors have ultra brightness, better color, and they're more efficient. The difference in quality compared to a traditional projector is very obvious even to someone not in the tech space. And to put it over the top, both of these projectors include Dolby surround sound. Having a quality projector, especially one that is portable and easy to use, is a really special way to bring people together. Click my link below to get the best deals of the entire year on these projectors. You'll get $120 off the portable capsule 3 laser projector and $400 off the Cosmos Laser 4K. hard time saying goodbye, but especially goodbye to Uncle Bart. So she gets very pouty. Oh, Rio. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming out here, Bart. Thanks for inviting me. It was a fun ride, boy. We already miss you, Bart. Make sure she buys you another big bone. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye. I love you too. You all have watched me grow up and overcome a lot over the past couple of years on this channel. But the thing that I'm most proud of is the people I've surrounded myself with. Good friends really will change your life. So Uncle Bart just left and I am just the luckiest person to have friends like Bart, friends like Kenzie, all of my friends that I've made in the past year or two. Um, I just feel so lucky to have them. And saying goodbye is always so hard. <sighs> I'm probably gonna go have a good little therapeutic cry. <laughs> because I love and miss my friends already. And then I'm gonna get back to work because I'm still out here trying to build my dream life and we've got exciting stuff ahead. <laughs>